Hello everyone, DigiGex90 here, and welcome to the Q&A video. Back last month, I made an announcement video that I would be doing a Q&A is my 200 plus subscriber special, and to be honest, I'm actually glad I managed to receive a good amount of questions for this video. For those who might have had a question but didn't manage to submit it in time, I won't be making another Q&A anytime soon as of this video until probably whenever I reach 1k subs. So without any further ado, let's get started with the Q&A. The first question comes from Red Chaos. He asks congrats on 200 subs dude and what new game are you looking forward to this year? Thank you. And there are actually a few games I'm looking forward to this year. Mega Man 11, Medieval Remastered, God of War, the new Spider-Man made by Insomnia Games, possibly Kingdom Hearts 3, possibly Shenmue 3, and possibly the new Call of Duty game. World War 2 did caught my interest, but the new Call of Duty game that does come after World War 2, I am not for sure it will be worth of my interest. So yeah, there are actually new games that I'm looking forward to this year. The next question comes from the DT Channel Studio. He asks, I do have a question for you. What's it like to be part of the MLB fandom? I actually like this fandom, for the most part. I've been in the fandom ever since 2012, and as of today, I'm still in it, and I will be in this fandom for a long time. To be honest, I actually had my downs in this fandom as well, especially in the year 2013 when that year I just wasn't really my best, but I'm not going into detail with that because it's actually personal reasons. I will admit this that I love how this fandom influenced my life in a major way. How so? Well, it introduced me to fan fiction and it inspired me to do them which, to be completely honest, I haven't done much nowadays due to being focused on videos and artwork, and inspired me to do art which I'm actually still doing to this day, and I love how I managed to meet multiple friends over the years in the fandom. Crystal My Barra, Summer Sketch, Noopy the Hero, Chud Star Power, Melty Mad 234, members in the Rift City like Laserhawk, Snug with some Romance, and multiple others. So yeah, for the most part, I love being in this fandom, and I will be in it for a long time, even when the show ends eventually. This next question comes from Insane Bardock. He asks you broke the 200 plus subscriber cap, what are you going to do next? I have plenty of content to do on my YouTube channel. And as for my next subscriber milestone, I will for the first time allow my audience and friends to vote on what I should review next. The next question comes from Chad the Gamer. He asks, Hey Digi, if you were in the show My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, where would you live in Equestria? I would actually choose Canterlot because not only it's the capital of Equestria, but if you want to go by my Pony Sana story, he was actually born there. I know Canterlot is more of a fancy settlement or anything, but I don't care. I would have set a video game shop there, whatever I'm not actually being a movie video game critic. So yeah, if I were to live anywhere, I would have lived in Cantrelon. The next question comes from Mandy Chen. She asks how did you get your cutie mark? Well, by my Pony Sonic's story terms, I don't have a much of a story for it other than that he earned his cutie mark when he was in his cult years because of his interest in video games and computers. In RL terms, I like having the cutie mark a PlayStation controller with a laptop because, again, my interest with video games and computers. That's about it to be honest, so I couldn't provide much of a backstory for you. The next question comes from AJP. He asks what is your favorite slash least favorite fruit slash vegetable? I'm going to separate this question into parts. So anyways, most favorite fruit? Well, I like apples, bananas, oranges, grapes, and pears. Oh, don't you dare get any ideas with me, Dr. Pony Who! I actually like pears. I know you don't, but that doesn't mean you just come barging right in and actually assault me for liking pears, so... Buzz off, Time Stallion Lord, or I'm gonna polarize you into non-existence! Anyways... Least favorite fruit... Mm, I don't have anything here. So, most favorite festivals... Well, I like carrots, lettuce, spinach, Broccoli, tomatoes, and peas. And least favorite vegetables? 
Uh, I got nothing. Sorry. So that would be about it for favorite and least favorite fruits and vegetables. The next question comes from Michael Laffey. He asks, do you prefer Princess Celeste or Princess Luna? I do like both princesses, but if I were to go with one princess, I would have preferred Celestia because compared to her sister, she didn't get much love in the beginning. And I'm actually glad that she did get more praise as the show progressed, including the episode Celestial Advice. Plus, I actually like this motherly part of her personality. I think she was a great mentor to Twilight before she was the Princess of Friendship, and as much as she isn't that great of a defender of Equestria due to multiple reasons, I still think she's a great character nevertheless. The next question comes from Jessica Pebley. She asks, do you like Pokemon? If so, what's your favorite Pokemon type? Oh yes, Pokemon. To be honest, I still do like Pokemon in some capacity, but not as much as I used to. The anime just doesn't interest me anymore compared to Digimons. I haven't played the games ever since Soul Silver and Heart Gold, and I'm not interested with the manga, train card games, or any of that other crap. But to answer your question about favorite Pokemon type or types, I like Water, Ice, Steel, Electric, Dragon, Dark, Ghost, Fire, Grass, and Psychic types. That's pretty much it. The next question comes from White Rose, the research big ancestor, and she has several questions. Number one, who would you want to date, Starlight or Sunset? As much as I like both unicorns, I would go with Sunset. I will admit that I wasn't into her at first when she actually appeared in the first Equestria Girls movie, but she did win me over when she had a great redemption in the second movie. Plus, I love how both her and I are smart. And she actually likes video games like I do. If I would have been part of the EQG world, I would have been the person who would have got her into video games. Last thing I have to say is that I love Sunset's color scheme and main tail design. They just look so great. Yay! Sunset's best unicorn to be. <laughs> Question two: Who do you think is evil, Sombra or Discord? Mm, I really don't know to be honest. Last question, do you ship Sombra with Twilight? Not really, because I don't really see them together. Maybe it could work in an alternate universe fan fiction, but I still wouldn't ship it nevertheless. The next question comes from Nailburn and Like White Rose. She has some questions. Question 1, favorite main 7? Favorite main 7? Oh boy! Boy, that's a little tough, because there's like three ponies of the main seven I actually like. Well, if I were to go with one of the main seven, I would have gone with Applejack, because she used to be my number one favorite pony. I actually like Applejack because I actually like her character. True that her recent episodes like Honest Apple, she wasn't really at her best. But despite that, I actually still like her character. Her second question, favorite ship? Ooh! To be honest, I actually got multiple favorite ships, but here are some for example. I like Flashlight, Sword and Dash, Cheese Pie, Flurmac, Sugar Mac, Shine Canes, Cranky Matilda, Apphar, which actually would be a ship between two of my OCs, Apple Juice and Fireheart, and there is a bit more, but I just thought I would provide some examples. 